Today, as you can see, I am a solar panel installer. So we are going to be, this is our last one. We have three on that side, three on this one. So I thought I'd show you how I put them up. I am going to use screws to screw it in, uh, but don't worry, the screws are just long enough to go through the shingles and halfway through the wood, they don't go all the way through so we won't have any trouble with leaking. So you might be wondering why we're putting the solar on the roof here. Well, this area here, I'm having to seal up one of the sprinkler heads because something's going in this area. It's a surprise. It's a surprise by the end of this video, you might know. But we've got these three panels on this side. And she's up there waiting patiently, so I better help her get these done. All right. All right. She's been holding this panel the whole time. Is it lined up? It's pretty good. So line up with the other side, the other three on the other side? Yep, pretty good. Decent enough? Decent enough. See our house points... Right um, that way a tiny bit, but that's it. I'm not gonna bother. Our house points east and west, so we're gonna get three panels for the morning sun, then all afternoon straight ahead, and then the evening setting on here, so it's the best we can do. Go gentle. You did it, perfection, I heard it. Yep. I heard of those, there's like only like two or three threads that grab the wood down in there. We'll let you know how it goes our first 80 mile an hour windstorm. <laughs> Just easy, go through the shingles and then grab the wood. All right, ready? Yeah. Yes! Oh, that was perfect because you're on camera. Yes! All right, Woo! switch with me and I'll do the bottom two. Okay. Cam I'll just take leave the, the camera. camera running. Okay. Don't drop the camera. You take that, but hold on, I gotta give you some more cord. More cord. All right, I'm good. Okay. All right. We need power out here for a specific reason. That will show you. It's being delivered tomorrow. Yay! So we're preparing. And since I have all this solar laying around, all we had to do is go buy another inverter and we have power for it. That's good. Yep. Good job, honey. That's good, right good there. Good job. Right, I've I wanted have a few screws to put on the other side. I've wanted some power out here for a while to put some little lights up around my little shed also. Very good. Okay. All right, I got to help you down. Okay, you want me to turn it off now? Because I can reach the other screws on that side. Yeah, why don't we just switch scenes? Okay. My Ready? wife off the roof. All right, I will throw this camera to catch you. <laughs> okay. You just hold that ladder because I'm coming down on it. Yep. That was easy. That was easier than getting on, actually. Yeah, that was easy. Less scary. Ta-da! Ta-da! Now I'm going to do a backflip off the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you trying. I know. Fix my yard light. I, oh, honey. My landing strip. All right, I got to just finish those, and we're done for the evening. I have to wait for the... The water to evaporate overnight to finish plugging that sprinkler head. Oh, yeah. Dang, dogs. So the solar panels you just saw us put on the roof, they're 15 watt each. So they're actually two of the 45 watt Harbor Freight solar panel kits, two of them. So it makes 90 watts. So I can't use this Harbor Freight uh, charge controller power controller because it's only like for 45 50 watts this comes from i have a couple hundred watt harbor freight solar panel kits so i'll use this hundred watt to control those not that 90 watts and i also have this um, 400 watt inverter but for what we're going to power out there i'm going to use this 400 watt power inverter to give me AC and I'm going to plug all of those 
panels into this hub and we're going to use a couple batteries out there in the shed. I can't wait to show you. But it's getting dark, so we're done for now.